Okay, so what we're looking at here is uh, data visualization with R. And one of my favorite uh, commands is GG pairs, okay? And it creates a matrix of plots, okay? And it's on the GG Ally, see right up at the top there, GG Ally uh, R package, okay? So I have GG Ally, I have GG plot. I might use dplyr, so I have that handy. If you don't know what dplyr is, check it out. In fact, if you don't know what dplyr is, uh, make it top of your list of things to do and also check out uh, it's part of a collection of R packages called tidyverse okay just that's a little uh, as a little aside uh, just as a remark I am using base R just actually because I think it's just easier to sort of read what I'm doing when you're looking at this on YouTube okay so no sort of I mean, I I use R Studio and things like that as well, and other things. But like, so just when I'm making YouTube videos, I use Base R. So anyway, what we're going to do here is, uh, what I'm going to do here is, let's have a quick look at the uh, very well-known data set called Iris. That's an inbuilt data set, and head of Iris is just gives me the first six rows. So there's some information there, but I want to sort of get a graphical complement to that. So GG pairs iris now so we might have trouble here uh, just give that a second and the there we go I just it just just took took a minute just there we go so what we have here is we have a six sorry four numeric variables there's a lot going on there is, is, is essentially what I'm sort of saying there is quite a lot going on so first off you have to remember that we're dealing with two different types of variables okay so it just took a moment there to sort of interpret what was going on now it's a little bit hard to tell there but if you run this yourself you might be able to tell I'll tell you what I'll just go along the diagonal first off so these are density plots so they're sort of like style or uh, very advanced versions of histograms okay so it just gives a rough idea of the density okay so there we go that's a density plot for sepal length se uh, sepal width petal length petal width and so on now those are uh, th those first four variables are numeric variables okay now the species is a categorical variable so a density plot doesn't work there so what it does here instead it gives us a box uh, bar plot and really that's just a sort of uh, rough idea of how many um, is in each okay so I mean all we can take away from that is that there's roughly an equal amount of setosa versicolor and virginica okay so that's the diagonal so it's either density plots okay or uh, bar plots okay now just uh, I'll just actually under the diagonal here we have scatter plots. So those are usual uh, GG or just those are just scatter plots essentially. GG plots, scatter plots. Okay. So nothing unusual there. And just below that we have histograms. Okay. Now um, we will notice uh, it's a bit hard to tell here, but we actually have hit, uh, three histograms. That's important. So we have one for Setosa, one for Versicolor, and one for Virginica. Okay. So we I mean, it's very hard to sort of detect what's uh, sort of see the difference there. Essentially, what you're invited to do is use this step as an exploratory data analysis and pick out something like that, and then go into that in more detail. Okay. Sorry, actually, something I should mention on the. Uh, scatter plots this is the scatter plot this here is a scatter plot of sepal length versus sepal width this is this this here is the scatter plot of uh, sepal length versus petal or petal length and so on okay so just sort of watch how they pair up against each other so this one down here is petal length versus petal width okay now so this is a breakdown of the sepal length by setosa sepal length by versicolor and sepal length by virginica and so on. Like likewise over here, sepal length, or pet, a petal width of setosa, petal width of versicolor, and petal width width of virginica, and so on. You can just get a rough a rough sense that there's big differences in each of the variable in each of the variable uh, between the groups. Maybe not so much between sepal width of the first two, but uh, okay. So, um. 
Actually, sorry, I'm not sure which group is which there, to be honest with you, but it's just it, that's beside the point. You you, you can uh, go on and investigate that further yourself. So uh, up above the diagonal, we just have the correlation coefficients. So the correlation coefficient here sort of corresponds to this here, minus 0 0.118. A little bit hard to read there, but, you know. Uh, correlation coefficient of this for this one here, 0.872 okay so you just have it takes a little bit of a practice just to sort of see what that this one down here this plot down here corresponds to this plot up here okay sorry it's over here on the other side yeah sorry the labels are over here on the other side so uh, sepal length sepal width petal length petal width and species okay now um so for example this is the this is the correlation coefficient of sepal width and sepal length as we can read it from the other side now the last thing we have in the last column here is remember that species is a categorical variable and so what we have is a, so a, a mixture of a numeric variable and a categorical variable in that case what we get is a box plot okay so a box plot of each of the measurements um to um against each other essentially uh, like for example this is a the, sepal, the, the box plot of sepal length broken down by Setosa, Versicolor, and Virginica. Okay, so I'm just going to sort of scooch this in a little bit, just so you can see the labels on the other side a bit better. Okay. Anyway, um, that's a really, really nice package. It's one of my favorite packages, actually, in for data visualization. It's nice and simple. Um, great. It's great stuff altogether. Uh, I, I, it's one of my favorite things of all. Um, I'm just going to sort of see what else I can say about it. I'm just have to read in my notes on the side. No, I think I'm going to leave it there actually. Um, you can okay, yeah, that's it. That's, I mean, just keep it short and sweet.